Hello guys, my name is Eddie, and guess what? Today we're going to be doing a water test in your city. And the question of the day is, how important is clean water for you and your family? All right guys, first we're going to do a TDS test, which stands for Total Dissolved Solids. And we're going to start it off with this side, which is purified water. And on this side, we're using regular tap water. We already filled it up. We're going to put 15 drops on this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. We put 15 drops of this. What this is going to do, it's going to clump up all the solids together. But guess what? They still look the same. Why? Because you can't really see them till we add the dye. Once we add the dye, you will literally see what dissolved solids we have. So what we're going to do is we're going to add drops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I don't know if you could see that, but that's what you're drinking when you do your tap water. That's what you're showering with. That's what you're cooking with. That's what you're washing your car with. That's what you're washing your dishes with. This over here is what you're drinking. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. We're gonna do five more. One, two, three, four, five. Can you tell the difference? Not really, you know why? Because what really matters is this, when you actually spin it. See that? That's what it shows you. So this purified water has a few little things floating around in there. It's not perfect, but what is perfect? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna spin this around and then you're gonna see what happens. Notice why this one doesn't turn clear. And as you can tell, this one right here, you can see my finger. This one you can't. And wait, we're gonna come back to this right now because all the nasty stuff is gonna settle on the bottom. And while we do that until the end of the test, we'll bring those back. The next test we're gonna do is we're gonna do the chlorine test. So we're gonna work on that right now. This is the TDS, Total Dissolved Solids, or nasties as I call them. Tap water, purified water. See-through, not see-through, but this gets worse. Remember, you're drinking this, showering with this, washing your car with this, cooking with this, all that nasty stuff. So here we go. Now for the second test, guys, we're gonna be doing the chlorine test. Once again, we're gonna do some tap water, 25 milliliters of tap water, and we're gonna do 25 milliliters of purified water. So we're gonna determine how much chlorine it has. If it's clean with no chlorine, it's gonna stay clear as nothing happens. But if there is chlorine, we are going to get it bright yellow. The brighter yellow, the more chlorine it has. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. What do we get? Crystal clear, which means this water has no chlorine. That's a bonus. Now, for the tap water. One, two, three, four, five, six. Holy cow. You really can't see it. Let's give it another two more drops. Or three. One, two, three. Over here. One, two, three. And let's give it three more over here. One, two, three. So this has three more drops more than this one. There's your chlorine. And that's how you know how much chlorine you have in your water. What you drink. What you cook with. What you wash your car with. And what you shower with. Remember, chlorine is a, known to cause cancer. And what this chlorine does is that when you bathe in it, it doesn't turn yellow, it stays white because your body absorbs all the chlorine. So this is why most people don't shower with purified water because it would be very expensive. And that's where the Puronix filter comes in because literally this is what comes out of your shower head. And this is what comes out of your faucet. You see the difference? That's why it's important to make sure that you don't have chlorine 
you don't consume chlorine, that you don't cook with chlorine. And I hope this kind of terrifies you into reality. All right, guys, the next test is the soap test. Did you know that tap water contains magnesium and calcium? And you know what these things do? Let me tell you what they do. They neutralize soap so that it cannot create suds. Do you ever wonder why you wash your clothes and no suds come out like you put more soap and you can't get suds? Well, that's because the magnesium and the calcium dissolve and neutralize the soap. And I'm gonna show you how that works. We're gonna try purified water over here, 100 milliliters, and we're gonna work on the suds. Normally, why, if you find yourself spending a lot of money in soap, and why you put shampoo on your head and you don't get the suds, this is the reason why. 100 milliliters of purified water and 100 milliliters of tap water. There we go, we're basically out of tap water. So now we're gonna put in soaps here. So this is the way that it works. There is five drops inside the purified water and we're gonna put five drops in the tap water. One, two, three, four, five. What's the big deal? Well, this is the big deal. The key is if you're gonna buy soap, you buy concentrated soap, why? So it could last you many times. Now what happens is when you do all your washing, you wash your dishes, you don't get the suds, you think that this other soap is better. It is because it's so concentrated because they understand that calcium and magnesium dissolve and neutralize soap. Let me show you what I mean. Here we put five drops and look how much suds we get out of 100 with five suds, right? Over here we put five suds also and look, five drops and Where's the suds? There is no suds. Suds, no suds. So how many times do we have to put soap in here to determine to get the same amount of suds? Let's put one, two, three, four, five. That's double the soap and we're gonna go to 15. One, two, three, four, five. That's three times the soap. Let's go another three. One, two, three, four, five. That's total of four times the soap. There's 20 drops of soap here. Let's do the shaking again. Where's the suds? Look at that. Four times the soap and you can't get suds. But you know what? Let's see how many times it takes. We're gonna go to 25 now. One, two, three, four, five. That's 25 drops. One, two, three, four, five. That's 30, actually one fell in. Let's do 35. One, two, three, four because one went in that's already 35 drops technically this is seven times the amount of soap we used over here what we're getting suds not close to this one but we're getting some suds let's add some more soap shall we one two three four five that's 40 drops 41 42 43 44 45 45 drops five drops that means nine times the soap nine times the soap and guess what we can't get the suds almost so let's add five more one two three four five there we go and this right here should equalize it which means if you are not running a Pyronix filter you are spending, wasting 10 times the amount of soap that you normally would so you can get the same amount of suds. Does that make sense to you? So think about it. We have the hardness test, which we're still processing. As you can see, we just did earlier the chlorine test to show you how messed up it is. And now we're showing you the soap. So you're absorbing a lot of chloride. You're washing yourself in some really nasty water and you have to use 10 times the amount of soap. So you're technically polluting the world 10 times more than you should because you're adding more chemicals to the water just so you can get the same results as purified water. And that's what Puronix creates. We're going to do one final test. And this final test is going to be the hardness test. This hardness test is designed to show you how much uh, grains there is in your water. And that's a technical word for saying uh, 
magnesium and calcium. The more magnesium and calcium you have in your pipes, the more it destroys your plumbing, your dishwasher, your ice maker, your shower head, your sink, your faucets, your shut off valves, all your plumbing, your water heater. You add the cost of all these appliances combined and you have to use the plumber to fix these things. How much will you spend on replacing these things? Your tankless water heaters, they all get corroded and totally messed up. So we're gonna put this test away and we're gonna do the hardness test now. All right guys, final test, the hardness test. What we're gonna do is we're gonna look for how much calcium and how much magnesium your water has. And the way that we find out is by adding drops to this. And this will allow us to let us know how many grains there is per gallon. This will determine how often your Puronics filter automatically regenerates itself with its own built-in computer that does everything automatically so you don't have to do it. And it does it while you sleep. And so what we're gonna do is your Puronix filter can process an average of 45,000 to 60,000 grains. That's what it's called, which is calcium and magnesium deposits. What we wanna do is we wanna determine how many grains each gallon has, because if we have, let's say 4,500 grains in a gallon, then that means every 10 gallons, the system is gonna flush itself. But we don't have 4,500 grains per gallon, thank God, at least not yet anyway. We have about 15 in El Paso, there's between 15 and 35 grains per gallon. And after you, how many gallons would it take to process the filter to clean itself if it has a capacity of 60,000 and you, and, you, you, and you have 20 grains per gallon? Well, you divide 60,000 by 20 grains and that lets you know how many gallons have to process the filter before it cleans itself. We're gonna determine that right now. I know it sounds complicated, but this is just something that you can see for yourself as to how many grains. We are in downtown El Paso, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna add, again, purified water, and we're gonna add about, I would say about 15, 15 milliliters, and we're gonna add 15 milliliters. Oh, that's about 20. There we go, about 15, 15 and 15. And this right here, what we're gonna do, we're gonna have this solution. This solution will actually create, we're gonna have to add uh, 15 drops. And this 15 drops, because according to the El Paso a water system place, it lets us know that there's 15 grains in this area. And this, so you guys know, there's 30 grains per gallon in Horizon, there's 15 in downtown El Paso, 20 something in Santa Teresa. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. If the water is blue, that represents that it's purified, no hardness. If the water turns pink, it means that it's very hard. So our goal is this is an this is a neutral color, and our goal is to make this match that color. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add 15 drops here too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. If it's pink, that means you got a lot of hardness, a lot of calcium and magnesium in your water. I don't know about you, but I think I can see the color difference slightly. So this is tap water. This is purified water. So our goal is to find out how many grains of calcium and magnesium is in this water to determine how often your system should flush. That's where this comes in. What we're gonna do, depending on how many drops we put of this over here to make it turn blue, will determine how many grains there is per gallon. So let's count. One drop, two drop, ah, oh, ah, oh, not really. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. But I personally believe that El Paso doesn't really give you the exact numbers. So we're gonna go to 20. One, two, three, four, five. 
that's 20 drops. Now this color should turn like that if this has 20 grains. Let's shake it up. No, it does not have 15. It does not have 20. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna add five more drops. One, two, three, four, five. Now we have 25. Nope. Let's go to 30. One, two, three, four, five. 30. Wow. 30. Does that look the same to you? Thirty grains in downtown El Paso, and that's how we determine. So that means that if the system can process sixty thousand grains before it rege regenerates itself, and we have thirty grains per gallon, that means ten gallons will give us three hundred grains. A hundred gallons will give us three thousand grains. A thousand gallons will give us thirty thousand grains, and two thousand gallons will give us. 60,000 grains. So the system has to process 2,000 gallons before it regenerates itself. A normal household of one person will use about 2,000 gallons a month, which means in my case, I would have to use regenerate itself once a month in this specific area. So if El Paso is half horizon and we use 30, then you can imagine how much hardness there is in horizon versus downtown El Paso. But don't, don't let me you know, scare you, go to your own website. It is called ewg.org. Type in your zip code and it'll give you the exact numbers that the city proclaims there is in your system. But you know what's even better? Let us come to your house and do the test for you. And it's free of charge. Normally these tests are like 50 bucks to 100 bucks. But you know what? We can go to your home for free and we'll do an actual test how much hardness there is in your water, how much chlorine there is in your water, how much hardness there is so that way you can get, look at this, the suds are still there. Even though we put 10 times the amount of soap, the pure still has the suds, but yet the tap doesn't. And it's 10 times more the soap. So you guys decide if you feel that your water is safe. Maybe you're in denial that your city's not like that. Well, take us up on the opportunity to have a free test done at your home. At your convenience, we do practice social distancing. We do wear a mask while we do your test to protect you and ourselves. And hopefully, you'll be able to see how important it is for you to have clean water, not just for yourself, but for your family, for your friends, for your plumbing, for the value of your home, for your health, for your appliances, for everything all around, because everything that is living requires water to survive. In conclusion, I hope you guys truly understand the value of having clean water and considering you're going to need clean water during the second or possibly third wave. So it is best that you stay home safe with your family and that you have constant clean drinking delicious juicy water to shower with to clean with to stay healthy. But don't let me scare you. I just want you guys to know that as a side note. Hope you guys enjoy your day and I hope this grossed you out as much as it did me. But you know one last thing? Let me show, let's, let's take this up out of the way and let's get back to the real test. This right here, guys. Purified water. Do you see this nasty stuff that's floating in here? This is what you're drinking. This is what you're cooking with. This is what you are drinking. This is what you're showering with. This is why your hair is hard. This is why your hair comes out all frizzy and dry and you gotta spend a lot of money on conditioners. This is why your skin is dry. This is why you have skin conditions because this is the problem. Puronix is the solution. So I hope you guys enjoyed this test. This is Eddie Beretti and we'll see you guys pretty soon in the next video. Wow, did you guys see that? Now that you've seen the test, let me ask you again, how important is clean water for you and your family?